it's Jacqueline from Outside the Box Educator Workshops. Thank you for joining in for the instructional video on the Small World Playset. During this video, I'm going to give you a few ideas on how to decorate your Small World Playset. Let's get started. So in the kit that you received, you should have four wooden houses, four wooden peg dolls, two wooden trees, and some sandpaper. Things that you're going to need to provide yourself are paint and paintbrushes. Before we get started, I want you to think about how you want to decorate your peg people and the houses. There are a couple of different options that you can choose from. You can choose to match the peg people's colors with the colors of the houses. You can give your peg people faces or no faces. You can keep everything plain. Or you can give your peg people colorful hair or realistic hair. It's up to you. If you take a look on Google, you can find lots of pictures to give you some inspiration. However, during this video, I'm choosing to do matching peg people and matching houses. All right, let's get started. Since we're going to be using paint, I always recommend putting down a tablecloth or a towel in case this gets messy. The first thing you're going to need to do is to grab your sandpaper and start sanding down the edges of the houses. So take this time to grab your sandpaper, sand down all the edges and corners of all four of your houses until smooth. When you're finished, double check that there are no rough edges. Now that the houses are sanded, go ahead and grab one color of paint, one house, and one peg person. Since we're painting on wood, and depending on the quality of paint that you're using, you're probably going to need to put two coats of paint on your houses and your peg dolls so the paint isn't translucent. Start by painting the front of the house and then setting it aside to dry. Then begin painting the body of your peg person and then set that aside to dry as well. Then go ahead and paint the rest of your houses and set them aside to dry as well, along with the peg people. Once the first layer of paint has dried, go ahead and put on your second coat of paint. Once the first side of your houses has dried, go ahead and flip them over and give two coats of paint to the second side. While you wait for your houses and your peg people to dry, all that's left to do is paint your trees and then you're all done. And if you're looking for a way to make this set last a long time, you could cover it in Mod Podge or a clear coat at the end. This small world playset is a great addition to your classroom. It encourages open-ended play and imagination. This set can be used alone or added to other toy sets. See how the children use it alongside other loose parts. Try adding it to your dollhouse area. You could also add natural materials to spark more imagination. The children could even make their own peg dolls to keep and use in the classroom every day. I can't wait to see what the children will come up with. How do you plan on implementing this into your program? Leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. And check out some of our other video workshops on our website at www.outsidetheboxworkshops.ca. See you next time!